What is going on YouTube? Hayden back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we need to cover XRP's current symmetrical triangle that is forming pretty much on its four hour charts here, but we do have things pulled up on the daily charts. We will be looking at Solana's kind of small bull flag also forming on the four hour. We will be looking at the almost the end of the Ethereum bull flag formation that has taken pretty much most of March, April, May, as we're starting to see right now, uh, as it comes to an end, as we're starting to complete this major descending fractal here and that same thing is also applied and can be said within bitcoin's major bull flag descending fractal this lower high lower low pattern here filling in the gap soon we will have the decisions that we have all been waiting for here including the s p 500 which honestly in my opinion looks like it wants to head down i mean i know we broke out of this which was nuts because i wanted to buy in here and i doubted myself and here we are swinging up but i still believe that we are a bit overextended and it's also possible we could see a double top right exactly where we are and start to crack back down. That is a huge possibility that I am not going to throw out here. But we're also going to be looking at this article, which says Bitcoin traders expect Fed Chair Powell to pump our bags and Bitcoin to target $80,000 as historical Bitcoin performance says that we should be seeing a major rebound coming any day now for most of these major cryptocurrencies. And I've been saying that for days too, that that is what I expect to see happen. Now, because I make daily videos, it does get a little bit boring, but that is where we expect to see these prices move to. Now, with all that being said, definitely make sure to smash that like button turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's get right into today's episode. So guys, super quick, before we dive into the technical analysis, make sure to head on over to the BidFi exchange and go get your free cryptocurrency. BidFi is an awesome cryptocurrency exchange that is currently giving new users a $50 signup bonus in free cryptocurrency, and then a deposit reward of $300, up to $300 in free cryptocurrency. So you could be walking away with over $350 in free cryptocurrency currency by literally signing up and making a deposit with the link, the top link, the first link in the description down below. Now, with that being said, diving into today's video here, let's check out the uh, the XRP charts. We'll look at Solana. Then we'll check out this article and jump back into the major cryptos. Now, you can see within XRP jumping to the four hour charts here, there is some sort of symmetrical triangle forming here. I could move this down a little bit ever so slightly just to incorporate or include the symmetrical triangle that's forming here. And you can clearly tell that there is some sort of higher low, lower high forming here. Each time we decide to fall, it is higher than the last time. And each time we head up, it's it's lower than the last time here. And if we jump to the daily, it almost shows you the kind of this pattern that we're dealing with here. The uptrend, the supports, we could scale this just a little bit higher up as I had before to incorporate kind of the, the chartings that we were drawing on. But regardless, However you want to draw this here, there is some sort of symmetrical triangle that is forming here. You can see the pattern forming right now. And as we complete these lower highs and these higher lows, we are going to fill in the gap. And soon we are going to be led to make a decision. And hopefully that decision is to the upside here. As we fill this in, the goal is we get into here, make a decision, hopefully break through price ceiling and rally to the upside because that's what we're all expecting. Now, typically, if we fall into one of these, they usually fall out of it. That is something I do want to prepare you for. And usually if we break into it, we continue the, the trend to the upside here. But it's it's very possible that we could be going in either direction because of the way these markets typically move to. Everything for the most part is pretty um, uncontested. And we've seen pretty much bearish market movements for quite a long time now here. We've been in a downtrend for quite a long time. And there's a good chance we will be rebounding back to retest some moving average and some other major resistances on XRP. So it's really just focus on here. Now, you could also, you know, take an aggressive play here and buy in. Currently, you can see the consolidation that's taking place here. There's definitely something consolidating. And ideally, I'm looking for a reversal up. This is what I'm expecting. I'm expecting to see a reversal to the upside here and then potentially consolidating breaking to the upside here. I don't know just yet where we're going to be moving to. I would likely expect to see a reversal out of this. That's where I expect and want to see these market moves to, but we won't know until we can start to consolidate and fill this gap. And then we'll be forced to make a decision, hopefully to the upside here. But again, the second we can confirm closure either above or below these major supports and resistances, that's kind of that buy-in opportunity. That's kind of when we'll know 
know when to be buying in, when to be selling short, so on and so forth here. Anywho, moving forward from here, looking at other cryptocurrencies, we'll check out Solana here. I noticed Solana on its four hour charts and I'm just gonna delete the pattern here. You guys already know it. I don't wanna go over it again, but we we drew, um, we took an old bull flag that you can see here and drew a ghost bars pattern on, to, on top of it. And you can see kind of the, the trajectory and everything playing out, but just cause it's getting in the way here, I am gonna delete it. And I do believe prices will continue to soar higher as we start to rebound off here. The price typically likes to play around with this support. We don't we don't branch away from it all that often here. Um, so jumping in even closer, you'll notice we are intertwined, intertangled with this support again. We do have some sort of lower high, lower low pattern forming here, which is a bullish bias. And I do strongly believe we should be able to see us continue to scale higher here. We pulled back down very nicely after the March madness that we saw. And now we should expect to see some continued reversal to the upside here. Rebound is imminent for us. For almost all these major cryptocurrencies, a rebound is upon us here. We already, you know, we already let the markets consolidate. We're already filled in the gap here. This all happened already. So there's no real reason for us to keep waiting here. We already filled this in. We already completed bearish movement here. So right now we're waiting for that reversal to come and it's almost here. Now moving forward from that, looking at, and when the time does come, obviously we'll make those trades on BidFi, the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use. Buy long, sell short, leverage trade, create stop losses, take profits. Everything you'd like to do is offered on BidFi and then some here. So make sure to check that out. Remember, all my trades are on Patreon. So make sure to check out Patreon as well. Link down in the description and you can copy my trades on Fairdesk as well. Anywho, moving forward from here, lots of options. Moving forward from here, checking out this article, you can see Bitcoin traders expect Fed chair power to pump our bags and Bitcoin to target 80K. So why? And you can see here, this is that pattern that we're looking at. You can see the healthy correction, the healthy consolidation that we've been dealing with here. This week, market participants await U.S. inflation data to help determine whether the Federal Reserve will lower interest rates. We already expect that he's not going to lower interest rates. We already kind of figured that out. Forecast 72% chance of rates remaining the same. Yeah, that's what we that's what we said here. Uh, with the possibilities um, rates to push later in 2024, currently 48% September meeting. Traders forecast 91% chance remain unchanged at June's meeting. That's what I expect to see happen here. 91% that we're not changing the interest rates at all. Uh, we then go, analysts explain inflation will be good for risk assets, assets like Bitcoin. Jerome Powell will likely pump our bags. The economy isn't as strong as the data suggests. True unemployment rate published. You can see that's interesting. I didn't even see this bearish divergence that was forming here. Bitcoin um, yeah, that's no. Is that the same thing here? We have a downtrend. We have yeah, we have that downtrend too. I didn't even realize that on Bitcoin's kind of symmetrical or on its relative strength indicator, we are in some sort of scaling downtrend as well here. Whether accurate is a tough one. It's something along the lines of this. We are correcting lower. We are pulling back. So there's a good chance that we are going to bottom out fairly soon and start that that incline, that reversal. And you can see they drew it out nicely here. Now I drew the, the descending fractal here, but just like this, they expect to see the reversal rally to the upside here, the run back up. And that's what I truly expect to see happening too. You could, oh, and they just drew it. I didn't even realize that right here. So Bitcoin has experienced an extended downtrend since turning away from its all-time high. And the price is recorded a series of lower highs and lower lows. The RSI trended lower, reaching near oversold conditions on May 1st. And you can see that is exactly what we've been drawing. We've drew this descending fractal here. So continuing that, they then go, da, 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 da. if the indicator turns negative and reverses from a downward to an upward trend, the Bitcoin price is already rebounded, as shown in the charts below. At the time of publication, uh, the historical pattern repeats itself here. Uh, we may have a better chance of success if we wait a bit longer to invest on the rebound after trends turn negative here. So they're showing you this premium, Coinbase premium here, with runs up, and then we have these lows, a low followed by a run, and then a low followed by a run. So he, they're looking for the rebound here in yellow. And once they see that, they then expect to see a run to the upside. So it's saying um, Coinbase premium index, although currently positive, we we was we were close to zero here. 
So that's another interesting thought here. They then go, crypto trader Mouse Dash showed his optimism, arguing the current move should result in a more sustained upside as in previous post having cycles here. It has always been like this in the past. The structure is the same, only the price is different. And I 100% agree. And he's showing you where each of the halvings were, each one in green. Look at the correction that happened here, followed by a run. Look at the correction that happened here, followed by a run. And then look at the correction that happened here. We're looking for the run to complete itself afterwards here. So it is only a matter of time before we continue to send ourselves even higher up in position. And you can see that aligns perfectly with the charts that we have on Bitcoin and these other major cryptocurrencies. Beautiful uptrend, lower high, lower low pattern, filling in the gap here. Beautiful uptrend on Ethereum as well. You can see right here, followed by the lower high, lower low pattern as we fill in the gap downwards. We will break through resistance and we will start the rebound. Same thing with Bitcoin. We will break through resistance and we will start the rebound. Same thing goes with the S&P 500. We should expect to see a breach. Although I, I actually, I think the S&P would head lower, but if, if crypto start to boom, I wouldn't expect, I would expect to see the same thing happen with the S&P. But with that all being said, smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.